Please welcome the reigning Miss Universe from Canada, Natalie Glebova. You look gorgeous, Natalie, as Absolutely always. Absolutely beautiful. Well, Natalie, you, you've done so many things this past year, but what would you say has been the most memorable moment? Well, I can't tell you the most memorable moment, honestly, because it's, all my year has been incredible. And my favorite part about the whole year was definitely working with HIV and AIDS organization. And it's just, I, I learned an incredible amount. You have done so much, like you said, and, and you've had so many opportunities. What is going to be next for you? How do you decide what to do after being Miss Universe? Well, what's next for me is I'm actually moving to Bangkok to, uh, you know, continue what had started last year in Bangkok, Thailand. And I have signed a wonderful job opportunity with a company in Thailand called Singh. So I'll be working there. Oh, nice. Gets to go back to where it all started. Stanley, thank hey. you very much. Thank you, Natalie. Beautiful as always. The journey began last year in the faraway land of Bangkok, Thailand, when 23-year-old Canadian Natalie Glebova heard the words that would change her life forever. Miss Universe 2005 is Canada! The dream became a reality as Natalie was soon flown across the world to her new home base, a Trump apartment in New York City. Her spectacular year as the new Miss Universe kicked off with glamour and celebrity, with high-end fashion shoots and a whirlwind of interviews and national television appearances. As a role model for young women everywhere, Natalie spent countless hours traveling the globe, increasing awareness about HIV AIDS. One remarkable highlight took place in South Africa, where Natalie publicly took an HIV test, setting an example for the entire world. Natalie continued her crusade, volunteering at various community and health organizations. Dreams do come true, and Natalie's journey as Miss Universe truly exceeded the dream. Natalie Gruboda, 23, Canada. Miss Universe 2005. that I'm passionate about in life is music. I love to play the piano. I love to compose music. It's really my life's passion. I do an inspirational school tour where I talk to students and I tell them, think positively and you can achieve anything. Canada. Dominican Republic, what is the biggest challenge in your life? What's the biggest challenge in your life? The biggest challenge in my life is always trying to stay positive. I consider myself the kind of person who always looks at the glass half full instead of half empty. And even though sometimes in difficult times it's hard to look at it life this way, I always try to maintain a positive outlook on life. Kapunka. 
Thank you. Miss Universe 2005. I was taught from a very young age that it is important to grow in life and help make a difference in the world. As Miss Universe, I have been able to do just that over the past year. As my adventure comes to a close, I know that I have grown as a person with more compassion and with experiences I have only dreamt about. I feel truly privileged to have worked with so many outstanding HIV and AIDS organizations. There are so many people to thank. First, the Miss Universe organization and Mr. Donald Trump for giving me the opportunity to live out my dream. Dennis and Miguel and everyone at the Beauties of Canada organization. And mom and dad for being there every single step of the way. Your love and support fueled me with positive energy whenever I needed it most. All the people I've met along the way will stay with me forever as I embark on the next part of my journey. Thanks to Miss Universe, I feel that it is possible to make a difference in the world.